While illegal opium is a threat within Afghanistan, it's also a threat to the world community. And solutions must extend beyond Afghanistan's borders. Reducing worldwide demand is one solution. If you eradicated every opium poppy in Afghanistan, you would still have drugs on the streets of my constituency and, you know, in small town America. What we have to do is we have to focus on dealing with demand for drugs and not just seeing as a question on the supply side. If you look at any success story in the world uh, on fighting drugs, you have to reduce demand in the countries that have the demand while simultaneously cutting off the supply. Meanwhile, as the insurgency continues in the country, efforts to curb the drug trade have yet to produce results. A UN assessment for 2008 found opium cultivation at virtually the same levels as the record-breaking harvest in 2007. Welcome news for traffickers in the country. There's agreement Afghanistan's illegal drug trade slows the country's progress toward becoming a stable, economically independent democracy. But there's not agreement on how best to deal with the poppy problem or how long it will take. Putting an end to the opium cultivation in Afghanistan is going to take a very long time. Perhaps 20 years, perhaps 25 years. But we have to start and we are starting now. It took almost 30 years for Afghanistan to get into the condition that it's in now. It will take a long time to rebuild the institutions, the trust among people, and the basic functionings of the economy. I think it's totally wrong to say that we are losing Afghanistan. There's a risk of that. But people who know Afghanistan see there's a lot of hope in that country, too. And what we need is perseverance, political will. We need to recognize it's going to take some time to do this, uh, and then we can do it.